Hey guys, it's Michelle with Cashel Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Um, I am like excited to share with you this little mini haul. Um, this one is from scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I will definitely drop their link down below. Um, they were selling the Sizzix release for Tim Holtz on the Halloween collection. And I bought it all. <laughs> um... I don't know why it says July because it was released in August, but I did get their I Want It All um, concept because they usually have a freebie and they did. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So um, it's kind of hard. I really feel that this release for Halloween, they kept it simple, which I'm really glad about because <laughs> my bank account was like screaming at me, but um when um, Scrapbooking Means Simple does do their I Want It All options when they do carry the product, um, they usually offer a freebie and the discount as a whole usually comes into the fact that um, you, really, you really have the whole concept of getting everything you want for a great deal. So let's just dive right in. So this one here is a thinlet um these are actually all from the vault collection in regards to um the imagery is coming from a prior release and so they're mimicking it by either shrinking it increasing it or possibly re um, reversing it um so you may see some of these and say hey wait i have that in a different collection from Sizzix, um but it might not be exactly it not might it's not <laughs> so um this little witch witchy lady here um she was in a prior release which i actually have my hands on but that one she is i believe a little bit bigger and i want to say she's in the opposite direction um so yeah i think she's holding it on that side versus this side so just something to note um these little potion bottles they were larger and i believe it was a um one of those steel rule dies that were those big bigs collection so they shrunk them down and i think they're so stinking cute i really can't wait to make with these so i'm pretty sure i can break down every single one of them but i'll let tim holtz do that for me <laughs> because he did it when he did the release if you did not catch the release of this collection back in August, yes, August, um, I will put a link down below so you can check it out. They are lengthy in the regards to the in-depth of the intro along with the makes. I enjoy that. If you're one that doesn't, you can fast forward him. You can also click on the different segments because um, someone on his team is actually going on them and editing them after the fact and then putting them with little subtitles so you can basically go to the collection you want and see everything that his makers made for that collection so i really find that very helpful and interesting to do when you want to take notes or just get inspiration or something of the sort so um basically this is just again i really love all of his stuff so that's kind of why I purchased them all. So this collection um, is called Vault Wicked and it is number 666683. And as you can see, everything on here, you're getting 15 dies. Um, so you definitely can play with a lot of stuff. The next one here is the wreath. Now during that video that is gonna be linked down below, he did share a sneak <laughs> of the holiday one, which is the Christmas line. Um, and he did explain, I believe it was in February when the everyday line came out that all three wreaths he's going to release this whole year of 2024 can be intertwined um, and he does go over that in the actual link that I have down below pretty much you need to watch it if you want inspiration along with is it something you really want to buy because I'm not going to have time yet to um, do uh, any uh, demos or anything like that so if you definitely want that for inspiration please check out the video um again i'm not uh what do you call it um sponsored or anything by them i just find it very helpful and useful that sometimes if you need to inform yourself of something um to check out 
what's already provided to you and just take notes it's there's no harm to it um this one is called vault foliage wreath and it is number six 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 eight two and i just love i mean obviously they show you the colors to be inspired by as your color palette but you can definitely utilize this for whatever you want and definitely because there's 14 dies you can choose some of these elements and just put them on something else i mean the acorn alone is so stinking cute the next one is <laughs> is a thin lid um and this one is the vault gothic portraits now i am really fascinated by these silhouettes right here and i cannot wait to use them in a make because i had purchased during hobby lobby's clearance haul um a whole bunch of antique um frames that i pretty much think i made a comment to um in regards to i can't wait to get my hands on them because i want to put them in their own frames and i i really hope it works out in my head the way that it will be on paper um this one is number for six 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 eight one and again you have a bunch of different options you only have nine dies with this one but you do get some sentiment this creepy spider which i think is so cool then you get a raven and there was i think another um Sizzix collection that had multiple ravens in different sizes so again this kind of like fits in between those so I really love how Tim Holtz kind of uses everything with purpose and intention um because again he's a maker as well so it helps when we are also makers to um understand his 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 brain function his methodology <laughs> um this one is another thin lit die this is called a vault coffin box now this doesn't look like it's actually a 3d box but the die itself will create that 3d box and i'm like super stoked i'm really thinking that would be so cute to put into the boo bags that i want to create um, so you have these gothic fonts. Now these were in one of those big dies he did show us in the video, which I think is so neat. I never honestly wasn't following him that far along, so I had no idea that this was ever a font to begin with. But these are scaled down to be smaller. And then you get this cool creepy guy with a skull and bones and of course a top hat. Why not? Then you have a cross and then you have a cute bat. Now something to know about this coffin is that when you use it and the reason why i'm opening it because i like to just share some things that i learn um the coffin top is hollow so you will have the capability of um once i figure out how to open this you will have the capability of adding something in the middle of it in case you want to have that more as a shadow box so this is going to be the top and so as you can see here it's hollow so if we wanted to use like this cross, meaning you wanted the cross to come through your um, die cut, you would be able to place that here in the center and then run it through your machine. And then you would have this top, that would be the top of your coffin, have that um, cross come through. So if you wanted to put vellum or something else behind it, um, you would definitely get that imagery that you're looking for, which I think is so cool because imagine if you put lights inside. Oh my god, red lights to make it like a vampire. Yeah, I know. My mind runs, runs wild sometimes. Anyways, so that again is the Thinlet collection for the Sizzix. Um, and I don't know if I gave you the number, but it's 666680. Now you can find these at other retailers. Um, I'm just sharing with you where I purchased them. And I did purchase them back in August when they were released. I don't know if they have the bundle still, but I do know you can purchase them individually. And then the next one from the collection is this one, the Thinlets. And this one's called Vault Fright Night. So cute. The number is 666684. Yes, I said so cute. I don't know why. <laughs> um, this one has some tree branches, which if you think about it, you can turn it over and make dead trees out of them. Or you can even add foliage if you so wish it. You could add from the um, wreath dye all these little tiny little um, leaves if you wanted to. I'm pretty sure they would fit in some way. Then you have these fun ghosts. I don't know about you, but I think they're so cool. You have these creepy clouds with the silhouette, silhouette, with the crescent moon. You have this little grave here, and then you have the spider web. Now, the spider web is actually 
I think it's bigger than it looks there. I believe that's what he had told us when, um, oh no, it's not. Maybe I'm getting confused with something else. Well, it is, okay. No, I'm getting confused with something else. Um, the, <laughs> the spider that's on here is not attached. I don't know if you can kind of tell right there, but, um, you can definitely um, cut this and then cut this separately because they're not attached to the same die. The one thing, okay, this is where I think I got confused with. So this spiderweb die is basically designed so you can basically have half of it cut and it'd be off the page, half like this, half like this, half like this. So he purposely had it where it kind of gave you that t-bone option where you can splice it however you want or you can manipulate it to make it like the whole backdrop of your paper so i thought that was really neat when he explained that and i think i know what i'm getting confused with it's the stampers anonymous stamp yeah i think that's what it is um all right and so that completes the five um i don't know why i'm putting this back in there that completes the five dies for um the halloween release the freebie that I received from scrapbookingmadesimple.com is this one and I don't have it in my stash and I'm so very happy that I got this as a freebie because I really, really wanted it. But you get this little cookie guy. <laughs> I got him a skull cookie because I feel like that's what it is. Um, and then you get a candied apple, you get a candy corn and a gumball candy uh, eyeball. That's what I think it is. It has to be a gumball. Um, and so it's 29 dies because it's colorized. That is the reason why you have all these different dies that are going to create all those different colorized options. So you have a shadow effect. Um, I don't know what to tell you, but I'm like so excited to play with this. So this one is called trick or treat colorized. Um, I want to say this came out in 2022. Okay. Yeah, that's why. Cause I, I, it wasn't until last year that I just started buying them all because I'm like, why am I picking and choosing just budget yourself? So this number is 666002 in case you're looking for it. But this is an older collection with Sizzix. It's a one and done with them. From my understanding, they don't reproduce things once it's out in the universe and um, retailers sell out, they sell out. So, yeah, um, <laughs> I would not recommend if there's something you want, keep an eye on it because once it's gone, it's gone. I do know that sometimes I believe last year it was around the holiday season. I want to say around December, December, um, Sizzix, or maybe it was, no, it was December. Sizzix had like this huge sale and I acquired so many stuff, but there's no guarantee that you're going to be able to find stuff that you were looking for. On that deal because they didn't, they're not gonna have everything they're gonna have a select items and I don't know if that's just to clear out their wear inventory or what so definitely let me know if you purchased any of these um, and what did you make with it I'm hoping to start getting my creative juices flowing and get some things going in my head so that way I can share and cut back on and make with you guys um, but I'm not sure yet which one I want to play with. I might actually play with all of them at once. I'm not sure yet. So I'm probably just going to die cut a whole bunch of different um, colors and options out and then figure it out along the way. Which hopefully you'll be along for the ride. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, if you like the video, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment, by all means, I can't wait to hear from you. And I will catch you on the next video. So take care.